Hello everyone and welcome to Biology 500, Current Concepts in Biology. My name is Dr. Anthony Overton and I'll be your instructor for the semester. And um, most of our classes and materials will be delivered through Blackboard and your assignments will be uh, submitted through Blackboard as well. So the purpose of this video is to give you an introduction of the course. I'm going to go through the outline and uh, talk about the topics and the expectations of the course. Currently on the screen you see the course syllabus and topical outline. This has been posted on Blackboard for you. This will be your guide as we move through the semester. So you'll see a description of the course. Again, the main purpose of this course is to make sure that you are familiar with all of the current topics and the current research and the current discoveries in biology. Biology is such a wide, a wide field and there's a lot to cover, but I want to make sure you have the basis such that you can um, hold a good conversation about uh, biology and the impact that it has on everyday life. You will also become familiar with the scientists and research labs who are making uh, uh, incredible and important discoveries in biology. And also, you'll become familiar with these uh, researchers who have research interests very similar to yours. Okay, so here's the course description. The student learning outcomes are listed here. And also, I have the course learning outcomes are listed on your... Uh, on your syllabus. Again, as I mentioned, the class format uh, is primarily through Blackboard, so there'll be lecture, uh, there'll be some class discussions, there'll be some discussions on Blackboard, and uh, also some direct uh, didactic uh, instruction. We will probably meet at least twice throughout uh, this semester. As a class, I know it's going to be kind of difficult for everybody to get together all at one time, so we may meet in select groups. Uh, there's one thing, uh, don't worry about the attendance policy. Your attendance will be mandatory at our face-to-face -face meetings, but again, those will be about two or three throughout uh, the semester. Note that I do not accept late work. I'll repeat that again. I do not accept late work. Uh, if you have a problem, please let me know. Uh, I would suggest not waiting until the last moment to try to complete some of these assignments because some of these assignments take you two to three days to complete. Uh, if you do turn in late work, the most you can get for that late assignment will be 50% of the total value of your score. Uh, but again, I do not use uh, accept late assignments. Okay, so here is your grade determination. You see uh, the class is broken down into modules. We have eight modules for the class. And those are eight sort of sub-assignments. Um, module 8 is the big assignment. That is your uh, final review paper. You will be required to, to uh, develop a review of a biological concept. And that is your module 8 and module 1 through 7 are building, uh, building, providing you information that builds upon your current knowledge so that you can put together your final review paper. Okay, so we'll move down here to the course outline, the module titles. So each of these modules have a title, and then there's also the due date that's listed over here to the right. So the first one that uh, is due is the Great, Con Great Contributors in Biology. That is due June 12th. And again, all of these modules are um, posted on Blackboard. You must have it in, uh, in Blackboard by the 12th and submit it through uh, Blackboard. Module 2 will review and critique some of the classic papers in biology because in order for you to really understand the current concepts in biology, you must understand the basis of which many of these current concepts were built upon. So we have at least two modules where we will review and critique some of the classic papers in biology. Uh, module 3 is using the library, Mendeley, and classic paper review. Uh, we'll review uh, some more classic papers and you'll learn to use a citation index that will help you with your module 8, your final paper. Module 4, this is important because you'll be selecting a topic and you will be developing a research topic outline and this outline will serve as the basis for your final review paper. Now one thing that's a little bit different than some of your other classes is module 6 and 7 are due July 13th. 
This is where I want to have a complete draft of your paper. Once you submit a draft of your paper to me, I will send a draft out to all of your uh, 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 peers in the class and they will critique your paper. They will review and edit your paper and send you back their reviews and edits which you will correct, make any corrections and address any concerns to the reviewer and you will present, you will provide me with your final paper on July 26. So this is the basic um, outline of the course. Um, again, we're going to have some fun. We're going to learn a lot about some of the, the new or unique concepts in biology. And again, keep an open mind for this course. Biology just isn't about human physiology or microbial ecology. It, is, it, it spans the breadth of all biological sciences. So we will review some papers that may be outside of your current topic area. But again, they all contribute to what has made biology so successful today. All right, this is the introduction to your class, and I'm looking forward to being your instructor and learning more about each of you. Thank you.